you would think that a plant that has the name butterfly weed would be somehow associated with butterflies and you would not be wrong. This is a wonderful plant. It's Asclepius curasavica and it's native to Mexico. Now here in Louisiana we have native milkweeds. This is also called milkweed because when you break it it has a milky sap that comes out. I'll break a little leaf off right here. You can see that milky sap that comes oozing out of the stem. Now these plants are fed upon by the monarch butterfly caterpillars. So we particularly plant these Asclepiuses or milkweeds to nourish the monarch butterflies so they can lay their eggs on these leaves and the caterpillars feed on them and turn into those beautiful butterflies. But these plants also bloom prolifically all summer long, a very long blooming season. And the flowers are full of nectar and every species of butterfly will come and visit these plants for the wonderful nectar in the flowers. They come in yellow, you can see them over here in red and orange. So all kinds of shades of red to orange to yellow you'll see on these. Now a common question I get about this butterfly weed are these yellow aphids. You can see these yellow aphids really clustered on this new growth here. And if I turn this leaf up right here, you'll see some of the aphids are yellow, some of the aphids are brown. Those have been parasitized. Don't do anything to control the aphids. They won't bother the plants, they don't bother the caterpillars, and anything you do may be bad for the caterpillars. So leave them alone, leave the aphids to grow, let nature take its course, and you'll have wonderful plants for your monarch butterflies in your garden. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.